times. And let's see who will win the first sprint. Went to Montenegro. So they have the chance for the first goal. Alexander Ivovic. He's the top scorer for the Montenegrins uh, with 13 field goals and one penalty goal. So it's uh, 14 goals together. And in the other side, uh, the top scorer for Greece is the number five, the captain, Ioannis Funtulis, with 15 field goals and two from penalties. So it's uh, 17 goals. And actually, he has more 13 assists as well. And now he's with the ball, passing to the middle. And the ball goes back to Greece. There's a corner. Dunias. Puntulis. As probably you saw or you know that the Greek ladies won a silver medal yesterday. In the final they lost to the Netherlands. In a very close match. And of course the boys would like to win this fifth place here in Barcelona. Nas, a great pass to Skumpakis, but he missed it. Dashko Brugoyan with the ball, passing to the number nine, Alexander Ivovic. Back to Brigoyan. And still no goal. Nashko Brigoyan is having almost 300 caps since 2006 and playing in Hungary. Gunas. Now passing to the center position. And there is the first exclusion fall of the match. First for Ivovic. Yes. Passing to the other side, to the right. And now, great play. It was a wonderful pass from Kuntulis. But uh, the number nine, Murikis, just missed it. Here you can see it again. Saved by the post. Marko Petkovic. Rugujan. Passing to the center position and on this side. The ref said there is no fall. Konstantinos Flekas. The Greeks number one goalie. Saved 112 minutes so far in this tournament. And number 13, Emmanuel Zerdevas, saved 80 minutes. And on the other side, uh, Dejan Lazovic, the number one goalie for the Montenegrin team, saved 168 minutes, while Milos Cepanovic got only 24 minutes. This is Bruguian. The Montenegrin's captain was of course the member of all those success and I told already in 2008 for Montenegro and the team the time runs out for 
the Montenegrins. And now, this is uh, Skumpakis. Kumpulis. There is uh, one more exclusion for. And of course, timeout. Well, like Eudoros Vlachos. He's the national coach for Greece for three years now. As a player, his best uh, result came from. 1991, when Greece finished sixth, and as a coach in the World Championship, Greece managed to win a bronze medal in 2015, and uh, last year finished fourth, as well as uh, in Belgrade, in the last edition of the Euro. Power play, six on five situation for them. Dunas, Puntulis, and Dunias. Now to the right to Vlahopoulos, and a good steal. Mlada Janovic, number seven. Radovic. Druguya. Pass into the center position, and there is an exclusion fall. The first for the Greek team in this match. So going to Argyropoulos. Druguyan. Duro Radovic. to Montenegro and of course who has then the top scorer of the Montenegrins Alexander Ivovic. This is his 15th goal in the tournament. The best Montenegrin player is having almost 240 caps since 2006. Of course, at that time, called by Serbia and Montenegro together. Argyropoulos. Puntulis. Third exclusion ball. And a huge chance for Greece, and they score. The goal. Coming from Christodoulos Kolombos, number 10. This is his fourth goal in the match. Actually, all field player from the Greek team scored by at least uh, two goals. And the top scorer is Pinturis, as I told, with 17 goals. And from the Montenegrins, there are only one field player, Uros Chuchkovic, number 11, who's yet to score in Barcelona and of course this is his last chance to score a goal in this final day of the tournament exclusion four so six on five for the Montenegrins Janovic Jurdic Ivovic, a shot, and an easy save for uh, Plekas. Konstantinos Plekas had 28 saves so far from 54 shots. And uh, with his saving percentage is almost 52%. 
is ranked seventh. While on the other side, uh, Lazovic posted 51 saves on 84 shots, which is 60.7%. Per uh, He's ranked third among the goalies. He's kind of uh, top goalkeeper of the 37th European Water Polo Championships. But the Montenegrins, although he's uh, having uh, a good tournament, they are having no chance to be in the top four. But the fifth place can go to them, but they must score and not uh, let the ball just like this. Pass it really easily to Gany Dunias. It's a big mistake, and now we are under the last minute of this first quarter between the two teams, and the uh, score is tied. Gany Dunias, Kuntulis, Skumpakis, Skumpakis, and the goal for Greece. So they managed to turn this match and now they are leading by a goal Montenegro 1, Greece 2 this is Skumpaki's third goal in the tournament timeout out by the Montenegro head coach Vladimir Gojkovic who is the national coach for three years now and as a player was, he was one of the top players for Serbia and Montenegro, and then for Montenegro. He's uh, only 37 years old from Kotor. More than, no, exactly 300 caps. He was world champion, European champion and Olympic silver medalist with Serbia and Montenegro in uh, Athens. They lost in the final against Hungary. Now it's Ivovic. Wrong pass to the center position, an easy here from Skumpakis. Only 15 seconds left from the quarter. Now only five. And a turnover fall. So it can be a shot for Montenegro. Rigoyan. This just went wide. So after the first quarter, Greece is leading by a goal, 2 to 1 against Montenegro. In the match, which is going for the fifth place of this Euro. Looking back uh, the results uh, from this year in the Europe Cup, Montenegro finished in the fifth place. They managed to reach the super final in Rijeka in the beginning of April. And for the fifth place, 
they won against Hungary by eight goals. 15 to seven. While the Greek team also were in Riyaka. They were playing only for the seventh place. And they beat uh, France by eight goals very easily. 12 to four. But let's not forget that the Montenegro team won the World League Super Final this year. In the final, they managed to beat Hungary, a team which now just finished in the eighth place. The match ended in a 9 9 draw, but uh, on penalties, it uh, went with 4 to 2 for Montenegro. Janovic, Mlada Janovic, who was uh, the World League best scorer in the final, along with uh, Ivovic. Now there is just a foul, no exclusion, and Montenegro have only three seconds left on the shot clock. Now only two, but the exclusion is coming right now. Ivovic. And they are losing the ball. That was uh, Vladan Spajic. They weren't able to have the ball. That's not the best pass, but uh, he had the chance to have it. Kuntulis. Lahopoulos. He started this tournament really well. And he's on uh, 13 goals right now. Today he had one shot, but no goal. Brugoyan. Alexander Ivovic. And there is a turnover fall, so the ball goes to Greece. And as I'm looking around here in the Bana Pico Naipuru, there's a good number of fans uh, on the stands, but we have full house for the night program, for the bronze medal match, and of course for the final. This was the first sold out day for uh, days already. It was impossible to have a ticket for this day. And yesterday, for the last day of the women's tournament, it was uh, kind of similar, but for the men's tournament. It's not uh, possible to have the ticket if you were in late. And this was just a weak shot from uh, Brugurian. Vahopoulos. From Pulis. Guntelis and from the block it almost went in. But Dejan Lazovic was able to catch the ball just in the last second. Janovic is ahead of his defender, so there can be a shot from him. Oh, but he just passed to the number nine, Alexander Ivovic. And he scores again. This is his second goal in the match. The top goal scorer of the Montenegrins. Now he is on 16 goals now in this tournament. 32 years old. Very, very experienced player who is playing in Italy. Prodecco. Genedunias. Genedunias and 
Gunas is passing the ball. Well, trying to pass to the center position to Nikolaidis. Only two seconds left on the shot clock. But there is the shot from Dervisis, but an easy save for Lazovic. So Montenegro have the chance uh, one more time to take the lead. As it was when they were leading by 1-0. to zero. Rugoyan. Janovic. And no foul. Given by the ref, so it's Flakas with the ball. Skumpakis. Kapotsis. Novisis. Gunas. Kapotsis. The ref says there is an exclusion for. So, man up for Greece. First for Djurdic. A huge chance. And a good goal. Scored by Skumpakis. The Greek number three. And his second goal in the match from three shots. He also has two steals. So he's just kind of doubled his uh, number of goals in this Euro because until this match he had only two goals and now he scored two times. Janovic, Duro Radovic, passing to the left and then back to Duro Radovic and a wonderful goal. Duro Radovic is the goal scorer, his 10th goal in the tournament. National since uh, 2016, and he was the member of the World Championship fifth place team last year in Budapest. And he's only 19 years old, very young, very talented player. He's playing in Yadran. Meridunias. Kuntris. Gunas. Back to Funtulis. And Dunias. Funtulis again. Only five seconds left on the shot clock. And there is the shot from Nikolaidis. But a wonderful save from Lazovic. So it's still 3-3. Drashkovic scored four times so far in this tournament. And there is no chance for a last second shot for Montenegro, but there is a fast break, and after this long pass, a good goal scored by. Alexandros Evgenios Gunas. His first goal in the match. He has one assist and one steal. But now he has a goal as well. This is his 10th goal in the tournament. The Greek number 11. He is in the Greek team since 2008, so 10 years now. And of course, he was the member of the World Championship bronze medalist team three years ago in Kazan, playing in Olympiakos. The best team in Europe right now.
So two minutes and seven seconds left from this uh, first half, in the second quarter. Vlahos got a yellow card. Bruguyan. Janovic. Back to Bruguyan. Under 10 seconds again for Montenegro. On the shot clock. And a great save. Blackass. One minute and 30. Eight seconds left from the quarter. And the ball is with Montenegro. Guyan. Dashkovic. Back to Brigoyan. Exclusion fall. And of course, team timeout. Goal by the Montenegro head coach. They have one minute and uh, 24 seconds left from the quarter. And we will play on power play now. Now you can see one more time this great save from Flekas. So of course the Montenegrins, the youngest team uh, among the teams uh, in Europe. And uh, they were ready to take the European Championship title which they clinched here in Spain 10 years ago in Malaga for their first uh, try but now they have only a chance to finish in the fifth place Ivovic Regoyan Back to Ivovic. Janovic and no goal for Montenegro. And uh, the last minute of this second quarter just started. And uh, a chance for Greece to increase the lead to two goals. Which uh, didn't happen until now. Vlahopoulos and Dunias back to Vlahopoulos, Geni Dunias again, Vlahopoulos and when the time, the shoot time is almost run out, they got the power play, so of course, the Vlahos called the time out, 36 seconds left from the quarter. Until this match, the Greece uh, men up situation was uh, 21 goals for 64. And the men down was uh, 7 goals from 57. Scored one time. An extra player. Let's see now. Puntis. Dunias. Puntis to Vlahopoulos, and this was just an excellent play from Greece. Great goal. The first goal for Angelos Vlahopoulos. And this was his uh, 14th in Barcelona. They just 
passed the ball really well. Then Vlahopoulos, who was there waiting for the pass. And no real chance for Lazovic. Maybe he touched the ball with his fingers, but it's really not enough. Janovic. But Montenegro can answer for this with a goal just in the end of this quarter. With only three seconds left, and they almost did it. But the ref says there is a goal. The ref says there is a good goal for Montenegro. Now you can see Vlahos is just uh, smiling on the referee's decision. So the goal scorer is Marko Petkovic, his first goal in this match. Now Montenegro 4, Greece 5. And we have only 0.8 seconds left. There's no chance to shoot. And there you can see it again. Well, from this, I'm not sure either, but uh, probably they saw it well. And let's not forget what's happened in the semi-final between Italy and Spain. And the Italians scored a very, very similar goal uh, against the host. And that time, the referee said there was no goal. And the Italian colleagues here in Barcelona showed me their phones that was a good goal for them but this is why they just lost that match and that's why they will just play for the third place here in Barcelona and that's why Spain will be in the final and play against Serbia okay so let's see the statistics of this uh, first half shooting efficiency is almost the same for the teams Really, you can't see just little differences between the two teams. Five steals for Greece and only two for Montenegro. But uh, what you can't see, when you are watching the top scorers, what you can can see is the goalies' performance. They are Lazovic. Uh, is on 54.5 percent saving percentage while Konstantinos Flakas is only on 33.3 uh, percent but uh, what can be the difference that uh, Montenegro had uh, only six shots so far Uh, Greece had uh, 11 shots, so almost a double. And the top scorer for Montenegro is Alexander Ibovic. He's actually the top scorer for Montenegro in the whole tournament. He scored two times, having 100% shooting efficiency. And for Greece, is Dimitrios Kumpakis with two goals for two shots, 66.7%. Next to his name. So since 2008, the Montenegrin team were always in, on the podium every four years and between those uh, championship they uh, did manage to be in the top four so they are just missing the medals regularly just like here in barcelona but in this year they managed to win the world league super final which is uh, really a big thing for them uh, of course, if uh, this will follow, then uh, these results will come. Then two years later in Budapest, 
they will be on the podium again. But of course, this is not an easy task for them. And the Greece, uh, the Greek team in this year also managed to win a medal in the Mediterranean Games. They finished second in Tarragona just some weeks before the Euro started. In the final, they lost uh, by two goals against Serbia, but only after penalty shootout. And over there, they lost to Italy in the group stage, but they managed to win against Spain and uh, Turkey. And uh, over there, Montenegro was also in the Mediterranean Games uh, in Tarragona. They finished third. For the bronze medal, they beat Spain by two goals, six to four. So the Montenegrin team have uh, the World League. Uh, gold medal in this year in the Mediterranean bronze and Greece has a Mediterranean silver and neither team finished on the podium in the Europa Cup this year and let's see the third quarter of the match Greece is leading by a goal Montenegro is winning the sprint. Jordic. All three sprints. Jordic. Lugoyan. And they are losing the ball. Is Funtulis, who has no goal so far in this match. The Greek number five is having 17 goals so far in the tournament and 13 assists. Dunas. And Dunias. Funtulis. And goal for Greece, Eider. Seconds left on the short clock, and they are losing the ball. And Dunias passing back to Flekas. Dunas. Skumpakis. Back to Dunas. Lahopoulos and the shot blocked by Vladan Spaich. Gurdic. Says there is no fall. Long pass, which is not perfect, but there is an explosion fall. And a huge chance for Greece. And a great goal. Scored by Gunas, second in the match. He's on 100% so far. Both 
sides, of course. So far, Jurdic, Radovic, Dubovic, only one second left, and he hits wide. Kapocis. Kuntulis. Rahopoulos. Kapocis and the rebound went back to Greece and the shot. No goal. Still no goal for you and Miss Kuntulis. His first try, first shot, and uh, zero goal. Duro Radovic. He scored uh, five goals from distance, from seven shots, which is 71% so far until this match, which is the best shooting efficiency among the, all the players here in uh, Barcelona. In this match he also scored a goal. Now Pulos. And there is a turnover fall. Montenegro have one more chance to cut the lead to a goal. But of course, not easy to score against this defense. Radovic. It was not a good pass to Janovic. And an easy steal. So they can't come back to a goal. And now they can do the three goal trail if Kirby scores. Kapotsis. Dervisis. Wrong pass. The Montenegrin coach for the timeout, of course. Of course, both teams got worse in shooting efficiency. Montenegro is on 30.8% uh, and Greece on 31.6%. Uh, Montenegro scored 61 goals, which is the fourth highest in the tournament until this match. Greece had 77, which is the most in the tournament. But of course, let's not forget that uh, they had uh, Turkey in their group, which is not. Uh, Playing well in the group stage. We got uh, a great team scored 27 goals for them. 
where the worst team in the Montenegrins group was uh, Malta. And they scored only 17 goals to them. So only one goal in this uh, quarter. It's scored by Gunas for Greece. And we are under the last two minutes in this third quarter, and now there is an exclusion foul. Exclusion Djurdic, and it's Janovic, Bruguyan. Passing the ball well, and until now, because they are losing the ball, there is a turnover force. So it's Flakas. Kapotsis. Dunias, that was a block, and then the ball went on the post. Good luck for Dejan Lazovic, who is uh, even touched the ball. And there you can see that he is having problems with the sun. And there is a penalty for Montenegro. And the personal foul for uh, their VCs. So it's a big chance for uh, uh, Alexander Ivovic to score. And the goal for Montenegro. Now it's Greece 6, Montenegro 1. So the Montenegrins came back to a goal. And Alexander Ivovic uh, is having the hat trick now. And you can see again why he got this penalty. Ivovic is on 75% uh, shooting efficiency now. 44 seconds left from this third quarter. After in the second, we saw six goals, three to three. Now we saw only two. Vankulos. Vankulis trying to pass to the center. There's no chance for Murikis there. And 10 seconds left from the quarter. And Montenegro can score, but the, team, the time just run out, and Ivovic was a bit slow. So it's Greece 6 and Montenegro 5. Here you can see some of the best movements of this third quarter. Also one 
more goal, which came from Ivovic from a penalty. So this was kind of uh, goalless quarter. Now we will see the last quarter. And then probably the fifth place will be decided. But uh, and, uh, two teams were, were not able to decide who will win. After the regular time, we will have the shootout. No chance for Geni Dunias. So Montenegro won all four sprints of this match. This is Ivovic. He scored three goals already. And the Montenegrins. Five. Bogoyan. Great block. But the rebound went back to Janovic. Janovic. Radovic. And Bogoyan. Just a foul. An exclusion. But a shot which was saved easily by Flakas. Number one goalie for Greece, international since 2005. He's uh, celebrating his uh, 14th, 13th birthday, of course, here in Barcelona, just 10 days ago. There is an exclusion for us or chance for Greece now. This man up. And Dunias. Montelis. And Dunias. Bahopoulos. Montelis. And he is the post, but the rebound went back to Greece. And no goal. The second chance which they had. Here's the pass again. We saw a goal like this from Blahopoulos in the first half. And on the other side, there was just a bad shot from Marko Petkovic. Actually, there was a little touch. Plakas, Blahopoulos, Menidunias, Blahopoulos, only 10 seconds left now on the shot clock, Blahopoulos, Dunas, a shot, still no goal. Radovic. Must take care of him, as I told. He's doing more than 70% shooting efficiency from distance. Now there is an exclusion for so now for uh, Montenegro. Ivovic. Great pass and a very nice move from uh, number 12, Vladan Spaich. You can see 
of the Montenegrin fans. This is the first goal for uh, Spain. The match and he is seventh in the whole tournament. And they have still Gura Stuchkovic, who has no goal. The only field player for Montenegro is yet to score. Actually, now he is in the water. So, Montenegro 6, Greece 6. So, the Montenegrins were able to come back. And they were down on two goals. At the beginning of the third quarter. And now they have the chance to take the lead again, which was uh, really long ago in this match. They were leading just in the beginning with the goal of Alexander Ivovic by 1 to 0. And since that, we were just training. Juro Radovic, Ivovic. Lugoyan, Radovic, and a wonderful save by Flekax. Four minutes and three seconds left from the match. And this match can easily end in a draw. Turnover for Montenegro missed the chance to take the lead. And Greece is having the ball now. Argyropoulos. Argyropoulos is fighting with Marko Petkovic. But there is the chance. And the penalty. The personal four is going to Brugurian. He's first in the match. Slavopoulos has the chance to score. The number seven for Greece. And he scores. Slavopoulos. His second goal in the match. Five shots. Just 26 years old from Thessaloniki, playing in Hungary. Eger. Greece is leading by a goal again. But Montenegro had the chance to take the lead. Juro Radovic. Jurdic. Back to Juro Radovic. Jurdic. No chance to pass to the center position to Chuchkovic. Rashkovic, only one second left on the shot clock, and they are losing the ball. And there is a fast break. Lahopoulos with the ball. Lahopoulos. Stopped by Djordic. Puntulis and the timeout scored by the Greek head coach Teodoros Lachos. You can see Teodoros Lachos, the head 
coach of the Greek team, but he's also the coach of Olympiakos, which won the Champions League this year. Για μια βαλιά στο τέλο ή για ένα σουτ και καλή κόντρα στην αμυντική κόντρα να μην έχουμε θέματα. Εντάξει. Ωραία. Μέσα είναι ο φουταριστό. Πάμε. Πήγαινε μαζί του και άμα χρειαστεί, πε λίγο. Ναι, επιστροφή όμω. Ε, χωρί επιδετικό και επιστροφή χωρί απόλυ. Πάμε. So we have two minutes and 40 seconds left from this match. And uh, Greece is leading by a goal. And if they manage to score one more goal, maybe that would finish the game, but they are losing the ball. And now it's Lazovic. Asking the ball from Lazovic and only 15 seconds left. But there is, of course, an exclusion call and quickly time out scored by Vladimir Gojkovic. So, two minutes and 12 seconds. And Montenegro have a huge chance to draw the level one more time. And of course, two minutes and 12 seconds is really a lot. They are on 30% shooting efficiency, while Greece is on uh, a bit less than 26%. Very even game between the two teams. Little differences. Let's see who will have that moment to in the end of the match. Well, if any team will have it. If not, then we will have the penalty shootout. Jurdic. So Skumpakis is the Greek player who is out. But actually, he's out with substitution now because this is his third major fall and no goal for Montenegro. The shot came from Bogdan Djurdic. And there is an exclusion fall. So Greece has a huge chance to have a two-goal lead again. Maybe that would mean that they finish in the fifth place. There we see Colombos and the goal. What a time for him to score his second goal in the match. Christodoulos Colombos, number 10, is playing in Turkey. Of course, he was a member of the World Championship bronze medalist in Kazan four, uh, three years ago. And now Greece is leading by two goals, eight to six. And we have only one minute and 28 seconds left from the match. So a huge chance now for Greece to win this match and win the fifth place. And the steal. No foul given by the ref. So probably it's over for Montenegro. There you can see this is the 10th steal for Greece. And this made the difference. Last minute of the game, Vlahopoulos with the ball. They have nine seconds left on the shot clock. Eni Dunias is holding the ball. One more pass and just wide. Shot from Funtulis. His sixth shot in the match. No goal for the top scorer of the Greek play uh, Greek team. 17 goals, but in this match, they didn't need these goals. Probably they will win. But now let's see this uh, man up for Montenegro. 
He should score quickly. And a good save. Very, very nice move from Flekas. And only 15 seconds left. Lahopoulos with the ball. There we see. Maybe not shot. Or maybe yes. In police. Oh, he's just holding the ball until the end. So Greece won against Montenegro by two goals, eight to six. And uh, Greece finished in the fifth place of the Serbia Land European Water Polo Championship.